Um, she, she's relieved. Uh, it's been uh, over two years that she's been waiting for this to happen, and so she's understandably relieved that the charges are gone. There's uh, an outstanding uh, civil suit against Ottawa police and some named officers from the police force, and so it's limited what she can say, but she'll make a short statement if you wish, and uh, then if you have any questions about what happened today, I can answer them. civil suit and we don't want to compromise uh, that uh, it's still before the courts and obviously we're not going to litigate that uh, here on the front steps of the courthouse but we're going to, it's going to be litigated in court. So what happens from here on is that uh, there's a civil suit, Mr. Greenspawn represents her and um, I would imagine that uh, Mr. Greenspawn will now go ahead with the civil suit and the knowledge that the ground reviewed the videotape at the time that Ms. Carr spent in custody and drew the conclusion that there was no reasonable prospect of conviction because no judge would convict her given what happened to her. And Why do you think it took so long to get to this point? Uh, it'd be pure speculation for me to guess. Uh, that would be a good question to ask the Crown. I think it's something that the Crown should probably be explaining, uh, but I can say that the Crown since uh, November of 2008, just like me, was in possession of that. Once again, I'd be speculating what the reason was. I can only go by what the Crown said in court, and he certainly in court made reference to the uh, videotape and the amount of time that Ms. Carr spent in custody and what happened to her while she was in custody. And so the record of that is the videotape, and I would imagine that it was his review of the videotape that made him draw the conclusion that he drew. I should say that Mr. Wadden was only recently assigned the file, and once he was assigned the file, uh, he acted quickly and advised me that the charges would be withdrawn. Roxanne, you said that you don't mind if people see um, video. Uh, why do you think that's important? So, I, I, because there's an ongoing civil matter, Roxanne is not going to answer questions like that. It's not a question of what's uh, important or not important from Roxanne's point of view and from my point of view. The courts should be open and the public should know why the charges were withdrawn, uh, what the Crown took into consideration, and that's in the public interest. And Ms. Carr, although she she could uh, oppose the release of the video because it's embarrassing in parts and, uh, and it's a privacy uh, matter for her, she thinks it's more important that the public sees the video and uh, she's not going to stand in the way of the media having it. And I, as I understand it, that's being argued uh, today by Mr. Deer. Can you tell us what exactly is on the video? Give us a little bit of a synopsis. I can't uh, tell you what's on the video because until a judge decides that the video could be released, it would be inappropriate for me to comment on it. Uh, if the video is released and uh, the media is in possession of the affidavits of Ms. Carr uh, and her mother, which are in the materials, uh, it'll become obvious to everyone what's on the videotape and uh, uh, probably you'll be able to draw the conclusion for yourself why uh, these charges were being withdrawn. Yeah. Your, your comment seemed quite emotional. Is this taking quite a toll on well, I think you can tell by looking at her, uh, she's an ordinary person who was uh, uh, subjected to criminal charges and uh, her uh, uh, treatment in, in the cells obviously was inappropriate. The Crown's decided that. And um, ordinary citizens sometimes have to wait a long time for justice in these uh, circumstances and this was too long for her to wait. And yes, it's taken a huge toll.